today, so this review is going to be a little bit different. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tokyo Yo. My name is T. Today we're going to be doing this video a little bit differently because I can't sit on the bench because it's been raining torrentially and we have a typhoon coming tonight or tomorrow night, which is a category five. So this should be fun. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite lightweight yo-yos from Smashing, which unfortunately is not in operation anymore, but I still want to talk about this yo-yo. Today we're going to be talking about the Smashing Yo-Yos Crucible. So the Crucible is a 7075 lightweight yo-yo. This thing is, I forget exactly how light this is up, I'll put it on the screen right now. And it's, that's kind of the biggest feature of this thing. It's 7075 and it's super, super lightweight. So you'd think it wouldn't really be playable, but it absolutely is. It's a little bit small in the hand, or at least it feels so. Maybe that's part of the weight kind of tricking me, but definitely when you put it in the hand, it's gonna feel really, really small. Very, very, ex like extremely lightweight. Very comfortable because of this really hardcore organic shape. No step up as you can see there. The cup you've got like some weird little cuts some are going down and in the very center you have this convex bump here the finish on it is really really nice this is the stealth version i got this in a trade way back but this black is really nice and it's blasted to perfection and as i mentioned in another video recently i think on the remastered galaxy with the 7075 you're able to really balance this weight super interestingly so this thing plays super super well even though it's incredibly lightweight so we're going to talk about that in just a moment and here i've got the zip line i'm not sure what this is exactly it's some kind of nylon creature i haven't used it before it's been in my bag for a long time i'm not exactly sure what it is but i really love it and it works fantastically well with the crucible which we will learn in just a moment all right, so what can I say about the Crucible? So the first thing you're gonna notice when you get this yo-yo in your hand is just that it is incredibly, incredibly lightweight. It's in the 50 gram range. Again, I put the weight on the screen. I didn't I remember exactly what it was before I started making this video, but it is so, so super lightweight. Here's another thing about this yo-yo too. It is absolutely, completely butter smooth. And actually, I've dropped this on the ground before. I remember it was like a week after I bought it I went to put it on my desk at work and I dropped it straight onto our tile floor and I made this really loud ding sound as it hit the ground and I was so worried that it would vibe and it was not even a scratch, not a mark on it. So what you're going to notice here is you're noticing the first thing as I throw this around is it's very fast um, because it's so small you're able to really push it very very quickly. I'm not a speed player but you know it, it kind of does inspire faster play because it is because it is so you know lightweight and that's really like the whole thing about this yo-yo is it's extremely lightweight so there's like no sense of a chore when you're throwing it especially with me like I tend to get sore arms I don't know why probably because I'm picking up kids a lot for my job and at work at home as well with my son but it's really nice to be able to sit back with the Smashing Crucible and just like enjoy that super, super lightweight feel and not have to feel like I'm like throwing a big rock around. The drawback of that is that it does make every other yo-yo in the normal weight range feel like a monster beast that you could never ever play with ever again. But because of that small size, you can see it's able, easy to navigate through things like wrist mounts. It is sometimes a little tricky to hit on the string because it does feel a little narrow. I don't know if it actually is or not, but to me it feels a bit narrow, but that's because, as I said before, I love wide yo-yos. As far as the tricks it can do, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. Finger spins are fine despite those cuts. It holds, it holds itself very well. You can see it there. I missed the whip. It's a little bit narrow. Grinds are really nice on this thing, as you can see. It does turn a little bit, so you have to be very, very stable when you're grinding. Regens beautifully because it's got that organic shape. It rolls right off the string. And because of the lightweight too, you don't have to worry about it yanking you really hard when you try to regen with some spin left. Yeah. Um, the one thing about it though is that when you regen it, because it's super lightweight it's a little bit difficult to make sure you get your plane just right so you're going to notice like when i i'm still kind of learning my regens but you can see i have to be very very deliberate and very careful when i throw it back out because if you're not super careful it does tend to turn on you a little bit really well balanced you can see how it flops there no problem Whoop. 
very very careful with the regen to make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't turn whoop really really excellent response in here I don't know what kind of stickers smashing used when they were in operation but they're really really good especially on this and they work really really well with 7075 to produce that really excellent amazing ringing sound when you bind like so uh, what else can I do here how about some whips and slacks which are a little bit more challenging because of the shape and the size there's whippies Yamasa. let's see if I can hit Brent's tool oh. Oh. so Brent's tool can be a little tricky because of the size and shape and also because uh, the string I'm using, I don't remember if this is like nylon or some mix or something, but it uh, it is very, very difficult to, um, it's very challenging to whip because it's so, it whips so fast. See, it's sometimes a little bit tricky to hit that, oh, I have a knot, I didn't even realize it, wow. That's making it more difficult to play. I don't know when that happened. Anyway, yeah, the Crucible is actually a lot of fun. I don't find myself playing it as much as I should because it it's kind of a novelty and that's not a bad thing like it's definitely super super playable and it's my EDC more than I you know more than you would think it would be but because it doesn't have like the 100% playability of something like the Remaster Galaxy which has that super huge wide catch zone um, and like the longer spin time because of the, the size and the weight you know, you don't, it's definitely not like your performance beast as you would expect from something else. And obviously when you look at the specs and you see like the smaller size and the way smaller weight, I just miss that trick all the time. That's kind of why this is more like a yo-yo to take out when you're having fun. And like I said, that's not really a bad thing. When you're looking to just chill and relax and you want to just throw something that has a really, really nice weight distribution to it that is super, super light, really, really fun and is organic. I mean, this thing is like as egg shaped as they come, then you definitely should pick up the Crucible if you can, because there still may be some floating around the BST. I'm not sure if Smashing sold all their back stock or not, but I think that's a, this is one that is really, really worth picking up. It's probably the funnest Smashing that I've played with so far, and I've played with a few. But you know, I really, really love light yo-yos. I feel like I probably like this, I prefer this over the float. Probably, I'm not sure. I haven't played my float in a long, long time. I play the Crucible way more. I just prefer the shape. And I don't know, it just, there's not really enough fun yo-yos. I feel like the Crucible really pushed like lightweight, like super, super hyper lightweight yo-yos. And I feel like that isn't really a trend that took off yet. And I'm hoping it will at some point. Because we've, you know, we're in, we had the finger spin trend, we have the wide yo-yos trend, but I'd really like to see like super lightweight trend as well for those of us who are uh, more prone to muscle and body aches so that we can throw something more relaxed. But anyway, I really think the Crucible's fun. It's a little bit expensive, so I'm not sure how much it's going to cost in the BST, but I do recommend you pick one up if you get a chance. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, have a nice day, and sayonara.